This is a video review on turbo whistles that you put in your exhaust on your car. I haven't seen very many good reviews out there, so I'm going to go ahead and make one that's pretty good. Just got this in the mail. It's by the company iSaddle. They had three different sizes, small, medium, and extra large is what I saw. And you can just stick in your exhaust. It's super easy to install. This is a four-cylinder Mazda 626. You just stick it in there like that, and you unscrew, and then clamp it down. And it kind of clamps onto the outer part of the exhaust down there. And that's it up into your pipe. And the air rushes through it. And you get a turbo sound. And I'll show you what it is in a second. Okay, before I start this, there's one problem that I had with the turbo. And that was at low speeds and idling, it just sits there and chirps. Because the air is running through it. It's basically a whistle. And then once a bunch of air runs through it, the whistling goes away and it becomes like just sort of a turbo sound or whatever. But you'll see what I'm talking about. So already you hear the chirping. That's it at idle. It sounds really stupid. Sitting in the car with the windows up, you can't really tell that it's chirping that much. But once you roll the windows down, you can really hear it or step out of the car. It's really loud. And like I said, well, I don't think I've said this, but I bought this for fun and to see what it was like. I know it's not really supposed to sound like a turbo. There are a bunch of reviews on the internet. People are like complaining, oh, it's so stupid. It's the dumbest thing in the whole world. Sounds nothing like a turbo. And it does sound nothing like a turbo unless you're at like 3,000, 4,000 RPMs, and it somewhat does, but it's still super loud. It has no blow-off valves. So, basically, I don't recommend getting this if you want your friends to think you actually have a turbo. Buy it for fun, like I did, or just to see what it's like. And it's really easy to take off, put it in other friends' cars. Now, this was a problem that I encountered. On this Honda Odyssey minivan, the exhaust is really big, so the air just rushes right past it, and you don't even get the sound. Hold on. That's it inside this exhaust. It's really big exhaust, so all the air will just rush past it, and you won't get any sound at all. I'll show you what I mean. Nothing. Even if you rev it up, there's just no sound at all. Nothing. That's it in there. All the air is just rushing past it. You're not getting any sound. Alright, I put it back on the 626. And another thing to keep in mind is how stupid it looks. On this car, the muffler is underneath the car, so you can't really see. But on like the van or some other cars, whenever the muffler is the little tailpipe sticking out the back, you just see that metal and all that stupidity. So keep that in mind also. I put it back on this car, and I'm going to get my brother to film some drive-bys so you see how it sounds outside of the car. Inside the car with the windows down, accelerating. OK, 
Okay, this is going up a hill, accelerating, and windows up.